Hey guys, so no one's here, but I'm just gonna start this live anyway because I've got forever. Um, so yeah, hi, my name's Christia. I'm gonna be showing you some things that I got on my recent thrift hauls because I mean, like, why not make this a regular thing? I'm gonna like make a separate YouTube channel that I guess I'll link in the bio of this of this Instagram that you can go find these to watch back if you want to or whatever whatever so um yeah I'm just gonna say this I have on like this turtleneck and it makes my head look kind of crazy but um it's okay my veins are like a mess I look crazy right now but it's okay <laughs> and my phone is also at this like angle to the side because one when I post this on YouTube it's probably gonna need to be this way anyway and two my phone is charging and 99% of the time my phone needs to be charged anyway so why not make this routine okay we're gonna just do all these routines so all of these items that I'm gonna show you right now are from Goodwill every single one of them I've been wanting to go to um Salvation Army the thrift but I just haven't ended up there yet always find good things at Goodwill you know that I can like make profit like double or at least double of what I bought it for so you know that's lit so yeah let's just get started with this haul I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing because what I'm wearing is a full outfit basically of what I thrifted so let's start with this turtleneck. This is from Lafayette, I believe 152. I don't know, but it's just like this like wool, really thin turtleneck. The the neck part is a little tight though, I could say, I could tell you that. But um yeah, besides that, it's cute. It's really dainty and warm and I really like it. So I'm so I think I'm gonna keep this for myself. I might like separate the items that i thrift for myself and do that in like separate thrift hauls maybe i'll post that on my main insta main like youtube channel i'm not really sure i'm thinking about it but it's an idea so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this um turtleneck and i also bought these pants and these are also actually 100 percent wool they're from um sag sags something i'm also keeping these pants so i don't really know the details for them i'm probably going to sell these items later on but for right now i just want to keep them <laughs> um so yeah so let me show you the next item that i'm also going to pair on this outfit i'm going to show you guys that on my main instagram account there's like 50 million different accounts for you guys but they're all linked in my bio so um yeah that's gonna be on my main account the picture of this like full outfit styles and whatever so you guys can see how I style my thrifted pieces plus what I have in my closet you know but whatever um the next piece I picked up is this Elaine Fisher let me show you it's this Elaine Fisher um vest it's just like this it's like a vest it's so cute I really like it I actually really, really, really wanted to keep this for myself, but um, I'm just gonna sell it because I guess I can always get like a vest and like I'm not really going out or anything to like be styling other than for like Instagram, so yeah. But um, yeah, but I thought this would look that vest would look really cute with this outfit, and it does. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but I was really tempted to keep it, but I just don't. I kept the turtleneck because I've been wanting a turtleneck, and the pants, I just, like, picked them up to go with the outfit with the turtleneck and the vest, because I know, I knew beige pants would be super cute. This is, like, hashtag thrift haul, hashtag, 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 <laughs> hashtag thrifting, and hashtag, um, styling, because I guess that's what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, I just thought these pants were cute, and it would be cute with the vest and the turtleneck. So I picked them up, and they were perfectly in my size, and such good condition and quality. So I was like, yeah, let me get those, too. 
And um, these are the items in this haul is from three, uh, three, some two separate trips to Goodwill. Um, they kind of got mixed up, but I'm gonna see if like I could separate them. I should have did this before, but whatever. We're just gonna go through it. So the next item that I bought that I'm gonna keep for myself was from the first haul, and it's just this orange. Let's see, this is spaghetti strap orange dress from Zara. I really like this. I've been wanting a button down dress for a very long time. So I'm happy to like have stumbled upon it even though I wasn't even looking. And I think I'm just gonna keep that piece because I also would love to see it on me in the summertime. So yeah. And you'll definitely see how I style it for winter as well on my main account that's basically what I do there so these items here actually there's a mixture I'm just gonna go through them so let's start with Elaine Fisher since I've already done an item that's Elaine Fisher here's some items that I didn't pick that I picked up from that I picked up by her and the last few I've actually been stumbling upon this brand a lot and um on one of the blogs that I read on brands to thrift that are like the best to thrift for selling this is one of them so I've just been looking for it I just have this mindset if I just look for the brands that I came to look for I'll find at least one of them and multiple of one of them if anything so yeah that's just the mindset I go in with and usually now days I just stumble on all the brands I go looking for <laughs> so Except for one, but I'll just get back into what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, before this video ends up being like 50, 100 minutes long and my mom comes home and she starts yelling and I'm like, ah. But anyway, yeah. So this is this Elena Fisher top. And like I said, I've been stumbling onto a lot of Elaine Fisher lately. So I got this. I love the color of this. It's so pretty. I think this would be a beautiful like jacket maybe. Maybe if it didn't have this neckline actually. But I feel like this could be styled nicely as well. Maybe like tied in the front or something. But this isn't my size. It didn't come with a tag with the size actually. It looked like they ripped it off. I hate why do people rip them? I guess maybe like a day it was like super itchy and they just like ripped off the tag. But how inconvenient for me. So I have to like measure this and figure out what the size is and so I could sell it. I hope that's not my mom. I heard someone get called that earlier because you know my mom wouldn't stop talking. But anyway, that's that. That's a really nice top actually. I really like the color. Whoever buys it is extremely lucky. Let me tell you guys the material for it because I also look at material like I look for things that say wool, silk, you know, something I've probably never heard of. And yeah, this is made from fifty four percent viscose to linen and nylon. Elaine Fisher's also made from like some type of like um organic linen. So if I see that I usually know that it's like the real thing. Or if I see like it says a hundred percent cotton, but I don't yeah. Yeah this is a Lane Fisher as well. Um, this one's of imported fabric. And it's an extra large. This one's freaking huge. This isn't really my style. I wouldn't really know how to style it. But, um, let's see what material this one is. Oh, it doesn't even have a tag. Oh, yes, it does. Here it goes. So, this one's 100% cotton. Just like this. I feel like a lot of the items that I get from there are always like 100% cotton or a linen blend. So that's kind of just how I know I'm getting the real shit. <laughs> okay, so this is this Billionaires Boys Club. Should I tell you the prices? Should I tell you guys the prices? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Welcome, I guess. 
But yeah, I guess I could tell you the prices. Um, all of these are like seven to eight dollars, and this T-shirt I bought for one fifty. This is Billionaires Boy Club, and I could sell this for like twenty dollars. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> How's your day? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you before. This is cute, but anyway, yeah. So this is that. I'll probably sell it for $20. It smells super good, also. And that was $150. The day that I went to, um, that was my day. My day has been pretty good, actually. I'm happy with it not mad at it are you here for like the thrift deals <laughs> okay obviously another brand that i search for also is madewell i'm like filming this for my like youtube channel so i'm trying to get the details in but you know look at that in Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I'll just tell you what I got since you're the only one here right now. Besides, I guess, people that'll watch later. Um, My YouTube is Parker Parker, which is my last name. So it's like Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R, -E and then Parker again. <laughs> but that's like my main channel. But I think I'm going to like post this on a separate channel. I was actually saying that before. I'll probably post these on like a separate YouTube channel, but it's not really out yet. So, but it probably will be in like by tomorrow because I'm gonna post this. Okay, that'll be cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. So, I'm gonna just finish with this haul. I have like mad stuff to do. So, let me just go at it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for commenting. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. I got this Madewell striped sweater. It actually isn't like worth as much as I thought it would be. Maybe usually when I pick up Madewell, it's like twenty dollars, but this I could sell for probably like twelve, maybe. But I guess it's still a game or whatever. <laughs> Let me like go into this bag. This bag I think I got as a first trip. Hold on. Dang, if I can open it, maybe I should just tear it because that's gonna take me like 30 years to do. <laughs> okay. So, alright, it's only three more. Could have sworn I got more than that. I feel like more than that. Anyway, this sweater is from Aaron's Craft. I was lucky enough to like pick it up. Um, like they they basically like put like baskets out in my neighborhood where they'll like sell things not really sell things just give shit away that they don't want anymore so since I'm doing this stuff now I'll like check out the stuff like if they have books or clothing it's kind of like a yard sale but a lot of them aren't selling it they're just giving it away or whatever so I got this sweater and it's 100% wool, and I'm probably going to sell this for like $30, and that's OD come up, like, where are you from? That's OD come up, though, because it's free, and I'm probably going to sell this for like $30. Oh. Wisconsin, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm from New York, so, you know, there's a lot of people here, a lot of different environment and, you know, like, economic standards and whatever, so, luckily. Oh my gosh, Wisconsin? Jesus. <laughs> Do you like it there? Have you ever th thought about moving to the city? Or is that where you'd stay? Okay, so the next item I'm going to show is this Theory skirt. It's this pleated 
one. I already posted this on this Instagram, but to Florida. Okay, I hear Florida rains a lot, but Florida's cool. What part of Florida would you move to? <laughs> I think Wisconsin's cool too. I wish I could live in the country sometimes, but I don't know if I would adapt well. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the next thing, Miami. Miami. Okay. Miami would be lit. Maybe they do stuff like what they do over here in Miami. I know a lot of the people that lives in New York visits Miami a lot, so I don't know. Maybe it's like that same melty pot vibe or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> what would I know? <laughs> Miami's lit. Miami's like on the bucket list to go to. But yeah, the next thing I bought is this Theory size 4 skirt. And so this pleated, I already have like an offer on this one. And I'm selling it for like $20 and I bought it for like 5 5 I bought it for like 7 Because Goodwill prices around here are like 5 I mean... Seven and eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless it's like a name brand and it's just probably like 20 or 30. But I've, that's the most I've ever seen in a Goodwill. And at Salvation Army, that shit is like, <laughs> you know how shit costs is like an arm and a leg? It's like a, a calm fingernail, you know? <laughs> I went there and I was just like so surprised with the prices. Like who the fuck knew? <sighs> Salvation Army is a place to go. It's just like the stuff is like a lot, is a bit more gritty than if you found it at Goodwill. But it could all be fixed pretty easily, I'd say. Anyway, the next thing I bought. Yeah, I think it's worth it sometimes too. Do you thrift a lot or no? I just started like a month ago but I feel like I really enjoy it so yeah I'm just like getting into it or whatever Ugh, my nose sometimes you have an eBay store but not often oh you should do it more often I mean when you sell it just helps a lot because it's like you know you buy one item then you flip it and you kind of get like three items so it's just like i don't know it's kind of fun you should do it more often i'd say like if you really just like put down a set amount of like brands you'd want to find i'm pretty sure you'd find them <laughs> in a thrift store but yeah the next thing i bought was this madewell denim dress um, I don't think, I don't, I kind of just don't expect this to sell soon, but I'm sure it's going to sell probably for like 20, 30 bucks. And I think it's hella cute. And this is a size extra small, but honestly, this does not look like a extra small to me, but uh, I'll be seeing different sizes look completely not what I'm used to. I don't know, but um. Yeah, it's probably so for like thirty dollars, but it won't sell fast because it's obviously a summer dress. And lastly, I got this sweater. It's, I've never heard of this brand, um, but I decided to pick it up anyway. It's called it's like Magashoni or some shit. I don't know. I probably said that completely wrong. But I decided to get it anyway because it was so soft and it said 100% cashmere on the label. So I just thought maybe it would be a good pickup. And I think I'm selling, I'm selling it for like $20 and I think it already has a watcher so it's not terrible. And I probably got it for like seven, so that's about double what I made for it. So yeah, that's about it. It's, it's literally everything. I thought I had more. I probably do have more, but it's probably just not 
where I could find it. I really need to like figure out my whole storage with this. Like, dang, this is just like more and more stuff. But whatever, figure it out, and I'm pretty sure with time it'll pay for itself to do storaging and everything. So yeah, and how I want to organize it, where like by brand or color, I don't know. It's a lot, but it's not really that much. It's just kind of fun. So yeah. Okay, it was nice talking to you. I'm about to like log off before my mom comes and start yelling. <laughs> okay. You can hit me up at any time. I'll probably follow you back if you're following me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel also. Bye. <laughs>